even though my sister and I were not observant, when the Jewish holidays came, we stayed home to provide moral support for those who did. Someone might say, well, you're sort of uh, doing something. We didn't go to shul or anything. But we felt, you know, we were identified as Jews. Jews don't go to school in those days. Then in Cholomit, that is between the first two days of Pesach and the last two, you go back to school. Well, what do you do for sandwiches? My mother, I think she invented a Pesadiga roll. It's made of matzah milk and eggs, which you put in, in a muffin tin. And they rise up to something like this, and they're hollow. And you could open them and put in chicken or meat or whatnot and make sandwiches. And my sister and I, I don't know about her experience, I remember mine at the Boston Land School where I was, I was taking these sandwiches and the Jewish kids would look at me, what are you eating? And I said, oh, this is not trafus. And I, I didn't have matzo sandwiches that were crumbling. I had these things. And uh, when people learned about it, they were fascinated. People still fascinated by, by the fact that you could survive Pesach at school without crumbling matzo in your hand because they were made of months ago, yeah. So this is one of her great contributions, which I don't know whether it's passed into society in general, but, but my wife makes those too. They're, they're right through Pesach, you know, we're, uh, every morning, it, in about a half hour, she whips together the, the matzamel and the eggs, and uh, about 20 minutes later, uh, they're available. And so we, we observe uh, uh, in our way, uh, not eating hummets for Pesach, 